Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video we're going to take a look at the only on Netflix logo. It's this one, how to animate something like this origami kind of folding letter layer um, animation. It's not that difficult, but I'm just going to show you how, how you can recreate uh, an effect like this. Uh, so first off, we're going to need this logo in Illustrator, so we're going to trace that. So let's head on over to Illustrator where I pasted the Netflix logo and we're going to um, trace this. So first let's open our rulers with command R and we're going to put it on top of here, yeah, um, yep. And then I'm going to go to uh, get a black line, I'm trace this whole thing and we're going to uh, skip letter N for now and I'm gonna, I'll show you later why. So let's start with the E right now. So when you, in the animation you can see it has all these different elements. So the letter E is made up out of four elements. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and the long standing one. So we're gonna need those in separate um, layers. So we're gonna create different shapes for that. So let's start with this. Yeah. Okay, just the pen tool with the letter P. And I'm going to hold shift to get it completely horizontal or vertical, vertical or horizontal, uh, like this, yeah, uh, get my A pen, my A, uh, my A on my keyboard for my uh, white arrow to put it down. Now we're just tracing the whole E, like that. Okay, a nice curve. If I click and I hold, I can add a curve to the to the layer. And I click this point again, and it resets uh, the point, so I can go, go to a straight line again. Hit go down, and I'm actually overlapping this bottom part for a reason, because uh, right now, um, oh, this is not right. Wait, hold up. Yeah, like that wasn't straight. So I'm gonna drag a line like this on the bottom part of this E and I'm going to copy that line and I'm going to select both of this, these, this line and this bottom shape go to my pathfinder tool and hit divide and then I need to ungroup this and I can delete this lower part and now I have this perfect little cut right there so I press command F to paste in place that same line we copied earlier Select this one and go to divide again. Um, press Command Shift G to ungroup and delete that bottom part. And now we have this perfect line on these both on both of these layers. So let's head out to the T with the M. Uh, I get my rectangle tool and I can do it just like this and do that again. And select A, both of these points, and drag them down. Okay. And then you can also do with a rectangle tool actually. Okay. Down and this one down its head. Yep. All right, rectangle again. And I'm going to do the same thing with this letter L that I did with the E. That's not. Hmm. What's this? Oh, all right. Crazy glitch. I'm gonna drag this here. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Give it that line. Copy this one, divide this, ungroup them, delete this one, command F. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. And that one down here. Great. The letter X is divided in two parts. Okay, 
and the last part of the X oh, that's not that's not really straight uh, it's fine okay cool so we got all these letters except for the N because what you can see in the example is here the letter N starts with this curvature at the bottom which is center to the N but in this case it's not because the letter N actually comes in first alone and then when it changes up when it moves to the left you can see the bottom curvature change at N so I'm actually gonna draw this but just quick and dirty just for reference I, I won't need this shape I just need to know the placement later in After Effects so I'm just gonna do it like this and I have another end pasted here which is the there you go which is this um, middle end shape so let's trace that as well Okay. You don't see this because it's behind that, so that's why this one's not perfect. That's okay. All right, so there you go. So now I have this N, uh, this correct. So let's lock my guys. I have this correct N, let's put it in here, just uh, Command Alt 2 to unlock all your layers, delete this one. Um, as what you can see also is there are some shadows here and also in this E and in this letter T, everything has a shadow which slowly dissolves when the whole logo is there. So what I can do is create this in Illustrator, let's just uh, make these red and I can like um, just copy this one and then command F again and then just drag it up a bit and give it a uh, give it a gradient so this is already a gradient I already created before it's uh, black going to red and the red is at the 0% opacity and I could create this gradient like this and then there I have it but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, add the gradient in After Effects with a mask. Uh, all right. So I'm going to I'm going to who delete this Netflix layer and no, wait up. I'm going to use this for color. Um, let's just give this everything when I go to a, the eyedropper tool and give this a nice red and delete this. So this is what I'm going to start out with. Um, I need to save every independent layer uh, object in a different layer. So when I select layer one and I go to this icon here and I go to release to layers sequence, it puts every object into a different layer, but I just need to drag them out of layer one. So let's select them all, drag them on top of layer one, and then layer one is empty, so you can delete that. So now I have these 20 layers and every object is within, as you can see here, a different layer. Um, Alright, so now you can save this and let's head over to After Effects.